y'all. So, what I'm gonna talk about today is how to spot the filling functions. So, thing about the filling functions is um, with spotting them, a lot of it has to do with how the person smiles. That's one way I spot them. Uh, that's one good way to spot them. Um, it's real good to spot them and how to, because uh, fill it, extroverted fillers smile differently from introverted fillers. So it's like, and I'm not talking about just like people that are fillers, I'm talking about thinkers too. Because um, you know, as you know, everybody has a filling function somewhere. So uh, it's just either going to be extroverted filler, introverted filler, and they're mostly used for filling function or whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's really big on like spotting whether or not somebody's an FE user or FI user within their first four functions. Um, it usually has a lot to do with the way they smile, uh, which is interesting. So like me as a, I have extroverted feel with my fourth function. I smile differently from like a, say an ESTJ. Um, and this can also depend on, like I wouldn't say go off of this fully either. Uh, when you do, when you, if you try to do this in real life, Take other things into consideration. Don't just go off of this and try to determine things because it can uh, it can have a lot to do with other things where somebody smiles. Cause like it could be just for the person's face and shape. It could be like other things too. But for the most part, I'll tell you that if I users, they have more of a open sort of smile. Um, also, when if I use a smile, it's more of a genuine smile because it's like it's like a deeper sort of smile. It's like a smile that like when you look at it closely, you can feel the intensity of their emotion sort of. It's a, it's a lot different than an FE smile. If I smiles are more upward, um, stuff like that. It's more upward. It's, I, I say they're smiling to themselves. It's more of a smile like I'm smiling to myself sort of smile. Um, and they're not looking around when they smile usually. Usually when they smile, they're just smiling. You know what I'm saying? So versus the FE users, when they smile, so let's compare that to FE users. FE users, when they smile, instead of smiling like upward, it's usually more of a spread out smile. Usually when FE users smile, they're looking around as they're smiling at a lot of other things. They're looking around at a lot of things while they're smiling usually. Um, FI usually look at things too, but it's like, when well, FI usually look at things while they're smiling, they usually, it's almost like they're zoned out if you look at them closely. They're not necessarily paying attention 100% to where everything around them is more like, uh, it's like a front almost, in a way. If he uses it, the, the smile is more, uh, Okay, like if I use this, some, a lot of times they'll smile to, to, to hide their emotions and stuff like that. If he uses will smile, it's more of a uh, natural smile, let's put it like that. If I if you just have more of a natural smile, um, it's more of a not quite as deep emotional thing as if I use it. Um, if I if you just have a spread out smile, um, the upper part of their face tends to be more a little more relaxed when they smile, but if you use a smile, um, like, yeah, pretty much. If you use this, they smile and like, yeah, they look they look around at everybody. It's more of an extroverted smile. Like you see, if you use a smile when they're around a bunch of people, stuff like that. If I use may smile when they're around a bunch of people, it's more of a, like a, it's not an in the moment type of thing. It's more of a smile to. It can be for many reasons, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say about that. Yeah, if he uses have more of a spread out sort of smile that you will observe, it's a little more spread out. Uh, it's a little more natural looking, um, stuff like that. If I use this, when you look at him smile, it's a lot more, it's like a soul, like you can feel it in their soul. If you look at them closely, you can just feel their smile like so deep. You know, you can tell when whatever they're smiling about is very deep. Or if it's an instance, if they're smiling just to cover up their emotions, um, the smile will be, they're very good at covering up their emotions for, while smiling, if you're not, you know, observing. Um, if I use it, uh, great at it, but uh, 
I'll tell you one thing, when if I usually express their emotions, you see it more in their eyes. If anything, you don't really see it so much when versus their face, you see it on their eyes, like they might roll their eyes and stuff like that. It's like little stuff like that. They don't necessarily show it, expressing it. They do more things with their eyes. If he uses, they are more expressive with their emotions, so they might do like you can see it more in their entire face when they with their emotions. If I uses, they you only really see it in their eyes a whole bunch. They usually don't show it through their whole face, or they might repush it. Like they might not react. They don't react emotionally to things as much. If if he uses more reactive emotionally. Only time if I use react emotionally is if um, it's through the other functions. Like, if you say there's an SFP, they react emotionally to things through their SE and stuff like that. So it doesn't always. But yeah, um, that's all I gotta say about that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys learned something.